Ever asked your voice assistant something in Arabic and got him back an answer that made absolutely no sense? You're not alone. So Arabic is complex. We get it. But why does localization still fail even when big tech proudly says we support Arabic? Problem one, data. AI models learn from huge files of text. For Arabic, there's just less digital content out there than for languages like English or even Chinese. And much of what does exist is super formal. So an AI might write a beautiful news headline, but totally freeze when someone casually asks, what's up in Lebanese slang? Because so much data is in modern standard Arabic, AI systems often ignore the fun stuff, dialects, slangs, and jokes, which means apps sound stiff, robotic, or downright weird. Then there's the classic checkbox problem. Some companies add Arabic support like they're sprinkling parsley on a dish. Translate a few buttons, swap out a couple of phrases, and voila, it's done. Or that's what they think, at least. And don't even get me started on layout. Arabic reads right to left. Plenty of apps still freak out when flipped, leaving buttons floating, text half mirrored, or menus wandering off screen. That's exactly right to left gone wrong in apps. 